All right, here we go. I'm going to play um, one, the first level. Yes. Um, So, because <laughs> I can do this, because I've practiced, um, the next level is to, I pick two, and then after picking two, I'll, I'll pick three, yes, so uh, I'll pick two, and then I'll pick three. Um, so the game is interesting. So if we are many, we can enjoy go rounds as we accumulate points to see uh, the winner. So the game is is interesting. But of course, you have to be very good with your uh, and the high coordination, and then you have to focus and concentrate. No distraction. That's when you can uh, win the game so easily. It becomes easy for you. Otherwise, if you around you are not going to make it in this game so yes uh, this is battle seven an interesting game thank you hello everyone my name is baby king i come from china and today i will share the malaysia culture um, games his name is battle seven it's usually uh, connected with five pieces one, two, three, four, five. So I will share different levels of this play. The first one is pick one piece and then pick one, two, three, four. Okay. And the second level. I will pick one and then pick two pieces. The third level, tick one, and first time is tick one, and then tick three, like this. Okay, the fourth one is to tick one, and tick two, and other two.
my name is Ali. I'm a PhD student in electrical engineering faculty and I am from Iran. Today I'll talk about my reflection and my opinion about our group presentation game, Bato Semi. It's a traditional Malaysian game that's both simple and fun. It might seem simple. You just have a few pitfalls and a few rules, but trust me, it's incredibly fun and addictive. You learn different moves, does the purpose, and before you know it, you're happy. It's the perfect way to relax and have a good time with friends. Better Serum Club is uh, more than just a game. It's a gateway to friendship and cultural exchange. While playing, I met amazing people from Malaysia and other countries. We shared stories, laughed together, and learned about each other's culture. It was incredible to see how a simple game to break down barriers and create genuine connections. Playing Pato Serampan helped me understand some of the local culture and traditions in a fun and engaging way. And most importantly, gave me a chance to make lifelong friends who share the love for this simple but amazing game. I highly recommend trying Pato Serampan on more than my And thank you for listening. I greet you all. I'm Baguma Kevin, a student at UTMJB. I'm here to take you through the benefits of playing Batu Seremban, which is the Malaysian traditional game, and the aspects relating to it. Playing this game teaches the participants different morals, values, and skills. First of all, having to play this game helps to keep the culture, for example here in Malaysia, alive culture is preserved as the different generations are able to check it off. Also, there are rules governing the style of play of the game, and these rules are put there to enable the participants to appreciate and follow them so as to have a fair, fair game play. The game also provides platform for the members to associate with one another, to socialize, share memories, and in a way, uh, coordinate and boost that relationship between each one of them. The game also enables the members to appreciate the results of the game. Those that have won, those that have lost, they learn to handle such situations which is very crucial in our daily life. I, for one, come from Oima, Uganda, who play a similar game using uh, panels, seeds of jackfruit, panels, small stones. They can be as many as you can, can be 10, can be 15. Uh, based on the number of people you are, the game is played in a way that uh, someone who successfully wins each level, they set aside one stone. For example, if you win level one, you set aside uh, one stone. Level two, set aside the second stone. The stones keep on reducing by one, depending on each level that you go to. The difference between our game and the Batu Seremban is that it is the same style of play, I think, from level one to level four, only that for the Batu Seremban, from level five to level eight, uh, the style of play changes a little bit. This is quite interesting. I got challenges from level five because I thought it is the same flow like us, from level one to any level that you stop, the same style of play. The level is determined by the number of stones that participants are using in our game. So, this game actually caught uh, me confusing from level five. Yeah. And also, because I need to practice, it was interesting. I need to actually learn it more to adapt the skills to be more efficient. So, I think by a continuous uh, training, playing, you can also become the master, master in this game. Uh, this game has enabled me to actually adapt well to the society around because one of the key elements to relate with the people wherever you go is supposed to be the language. Playing this game, you relate with the natives. The natives can easily teach you the language compared to going to Google Translate. Uh, so when you learn the language, you're also in position to 
I relate well, communicate well, and can have a smooth life. Thank you for listening to me. Assalamualaikum and good morning. My name is Arif Fajar Putrawan. Our group is presenting about the game called Batu Serumpan. It is a simple game but a very fun one. I learned lots of things in playing the game which includes uh, coordination, focus, and obviously also includes socializing with other people and also the act of sportsmanship. That's all from me. Thank you. The things which I have learned after playing these games are uh, hand-eye contact, focus and concentration, patience and preserveness, sportsmanship and fair play, problem solving and creativity, social interaction and teamwork and adaptability. The game is similar to the Jack of United States, Hacky Sack of Brazil, Debola of China. Expectations before researching and experiencing this game is limited of knowledge, curiosity and initial assumption. After learning about this game, increased understanding, application for the culture inheritance, recognition of the values and skills, potential interest and engagement. The activities after playing this game, we learn culture immersion, connection with local, share experience, language practice, adaptability, flexibility, and breaking the culture barrier with the local community. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maisa Ahmad. I'm from Palestine. Uh, I'm doing PhD student. I'm doing PhD uh, at the Faculty of Building uh, Built Environment and Surveying. Uh, I'm architect. Um, um, today I'm gonna sharing with you uh, my opinion or my uh, reaction about uh, uh, the Malaysian traditional game Batu Sirmitan. So when I uh, when I get to know this uh, play this game. Uh, that remind me about, uh, of, of the game I used to see my mother and my aunt uh, play back home. So uh, it's the same idea. Uh, it's five small stones as usual here. It's a stone. Uh, so you throw up one of this stone up. Uh, and then you quickly you uh, need to uh, pick up uh, the others uh, in a specific order uh, and each level gets tricker so this game in my country called in my, uh, the, uh, so this is reminding reminds me uh, of a game back home called Kilat we called it Kilat or stones or five stones uh, it's uh, also involving uh, tossing and uh, catching the stones with similar uh, of uh, similar levels of uh, complexity. Um, so uh, in my country we play kilat, so we feel that uh, the stones uh, were our connection. It's our connection. Uh, to the land and our heritage so both of these games uh, it's amazing uh, and funny so each uh, person can play this game it's just need a uh, focus and uh, be quickly fast um, so isn't amazing how different cultures share uh, similar games it's like stone contact us all um, so different games and different 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 culture uh, yet the same uh, yet the same essence uh, preserving our identity and basing it onto the uh, next generation 
so let's play with uh, with this tool okay thank you hi my name is Donald Chibenge, a student of uh, Master of Electrical Engineering, UTMJB. Um, I want to uh, express myself about the game, Batu Seremban. Yes, uh, it's a traditional game played in Malaysia. <laughs> it's, it's quite um, interesting. Um, and I want to share my reflection um, with you. Before I played the game, I thought the game was uh, that simple, just for enjoyment. And then, yes, just enjoy and and go. But then I realized at the end that the game is actually, um, I should say, a lesson. Teaches a lot, yes. And one of the morals and values that I learned uh, is focus and concentration you have to focus so that you can be good at this game yes you have to focus you have to give it your uh, mind because you have to coordinate the and and the eye such that you can beat can win yes